In a scene of gripping urgency, a dog clung to the edge of a hole in the ice on a frozen lake. The moment it fell into the freezing water, saving the animal became a race against time. The dog had less than 15 minutes to survive. Unless it got help, what happens next will leave you stunned. Hardy, a rambunctious black Labrador with all the playful and inquisitive characteristics the breed is famous for, was out for a walk with his dog walker at the lake. It was a beautiful Thursday afternoon, but Hardy's life was about to take a turn for the worse. Unaware of the life-threatening situation that would occur, Hardy's dog walker unclipped his leash once they reached their favorite spot next to the edge. The dog couldn't wait to be free. He dropped his nose to the ground immediately. Within seconds, he picked up the scent of a squirrel and started following the trail. It led him around a few trees and into the underbrush before he lost it. Adventure beckoned, he decided to take a swim. From his days as a puppy, he'd been in love with water. It's a lap thing. He never passed up an opportunity for a swim, be it in the lake or even in the ocean. Unaware of the looming danger, the excited canine trotted onto the ice. His legs slipped sideways, and this soon became a brand new game. Hardy skipped with a silly expression on his face. His hind legs overtook his front legs, and he tumbled into a tangle of fur and body parts. This was the most fun he'd had in a long time. With all four of his legs splaying in different directions on the slippery ice, he struggled to remain upright. As he ventured out further onto the icy expanse, the distant voice of his dog walker faintly reached his ears, calling out desperately, Hardy, Hardy, come back here, boy. Yet he paid no heed to the urgent pleas. His singular focus remained fixed on the exhilarating game that had captured his canine heart. Little did he realize the gravity of his actions. Unbeknownst to Hardy, this seemingly innocent pursuit of fun was leading him into perilous territory. The frozen lake, once a playground for his aquatic adventures, had become treacherous. The ice beneath his paws, not bearing the weight of his cheerfulness, was thin and fragile. When he noticed the water flowing beneath the thin layer of ice, Hardy jumped up in the air like a polar bear hunting a seal. But each gleeful leap, each excited bound, brought him closer to the brink of disaster. The ice groaned under the strain, cracking with ominous warnings. But to Hardy, it was all part of the game a game that would soon turn into a life-or-death struggle. He landed on all four feet, trying to catch the water beneath the ice. Only the ice in the spot where he landed was way too thin to bear his weight. It started cracking and groaning, and then it split open. A short distance away, Jackie, who had left work early, strolled home, relishing the path that led her past the lake and through beloved wilderness areas. As she entered the park-like setting around the lake, she inhaled the fresh air and cherished the changing seasons. Her love for animals was evident in her career at an animal shelter, where she dedicated herself to helping distressed and less fortunate creatures. With an upcoming climbing trip, Jackie decided on a quick dinner of Thai food to have more time for equipment checks and packing. Meanwhile, in slow motion, Hardy slid into the freezing water as he ventured onto the unstable ice. There was a strong current beneath the layer of ice. It threatened to pull him under, but he fought back, slapping his front paws on the edge of the hole. At times, when the current became too strong, his head disappeared beneath the surface, but he managed to regain his buoyancy and pull himself up again. It was taking its toll, though. He was tiring fast. Time was running out for Hardy. If he didn't get help ASAP, he was going to die. Jackie saw the dog fall through the ice and broke into a run. When she reached the dog walker, she was offered a breathless explanation. The dog, a Labrador named Hardy, she learned, had been out on a walk when it wandered onto the frozen lake. The ice had cracked and then broken, and Hardy had ended up in the drink. With urgency in her voice, Jackie asked how long the dog had been in the water. The dog walker wasn't sure, but estimated it was about five minutes. Jackie frowned as she did the math. As a fully grown black lab weighing around 70 pounds, the animal couldn't survive in the freezing water for more than 10, maybe 15 minutes. She opened her backpack. In it, she had an ice pick and a length of climbing rope, items she'd borrowed for a weekend trip from a friend at work earlier in the day. Jackie tied the rope around a tree and walked to the edge of the frozen lake. She did a time check. 
Three minutes had passed since she got the explanation from the dog walker and fished the necessary tools for a rescue from her backpack. That meant Hardy had just over 10 minutes left. Jackie had no choice but to slither across the ice over to Hardy on her stomach. This was going to be a high-risk maneuver, but lying on her stomach was the only way the ice would bear her full body weight. And still, there were no guarantees. Her next movement could be the one that cracked the ice and dumped her into the freezing water. Meanwhile, Hardy was tiring fast. Each time the current dragged him under, it took him longer to get his head above water and paddle to the edge of the freezing hole. His legs ached from both the cold and from pure exhaustion. Jackie's progress was painfully slow. She knew her chances of falling through the ice were good, and if she did, all bets were off. She'd never be able to reach Hardy. He'd definitely die, and most probably, so would she. If Hardy could last around 15 minutes in the freezing water, she wouldn't survive more than eight. She watched as the Labrador's head disappeared beneath the rim of the hole in the ice that was keeping him alive. She started panicking. It was taking too long for his head to reappear. She was only 10 feet away now. Her inner time check told her he had about three minutes left before succumbing to the cold. After another painfully slow two minutes, Jackie reached the edge of the hole. She reached out to grab the dog. His hair was cold and slippery in her hands. On her first three tries, he simply slipped from her grip. The time check in her head told her Hardy's luck had run out. They were on borrowed time now. The dog's breathing was rapid. He was exhausted, panicked, and on the verge of giving up. Jackie gathered herself one last time, got a proper grip on Hardy, and heaved back with all she had. Slowly, she felt the dog sliding over the edge of the hole onto the solid ice. Once his feet had a proper grip, he helped her in her effort. He scrabbled and clawed at the ice. And then, he came out of the water completely. She threw herself on top of the animal and spoke to him in dulcet tones while scratching behind his ears. The last thing she needed was for the dog to make a beeline toward the shore and fall through the ice again. When Jackie was sure Hardy was calm, she untied the rope from around her waist, made a second loop, slipped that around him, tightened it, and then fixed herself to the end again. Holding the big Labrador down, she started slithering toward the shore. Every movement was precarious. The ice still hissed and groaned beneath her, and in places, it was as thin as a wine glass. But she pressed forward. When they were close to the edge, Hardy bounded up. He streaked toward solid ground, dragging Jackie across the ice like a ragdoll. As she feared it would, the ice gave way. In that instant, Jackie thought she was in serious trouble, but she realized they were on the edge of the lake. The water beneath the ice was only a few inches deep. They had made it. Ten minutes later, Hardy had all but forgotten the ordeal. While Jackie settled down to catch her breath, he bolted over to her, nestled his head in her lap, and made happy grunting sounds. I loved this story of a human risking their life to save an animal in distress. It really touched my heart. Share your encounters with similar situations in the comments below. We'd love to hear.